a right solid circular cone standing on its base on a horizontal surface is of height h and base radius r the cone is made of a material with specific weight w and elastic modulus e the vertical deflection at the mid height of the cone due to self weight is given by there is no external load on the cone only due to the self weight of cone we have to find out what will be the vertical deflection at mid height that is capital h by 2 let this be the cone of height capital h resting on its base with radius capital r let's consider a small segment of length dx at distance x from the top and let r be the base radius of this small segment hence we will have to first calculate the weight of the upper portion weight of upper portion will be equal to unit weight into volume so unit weight into volume of this complete part that is 1 by 3 pi its radius is r so r square into x x is the height which is nothing but w pi r square x by 3 this was the first segment in second segment we can calculate the deflection of this small segment will be able to calculate the deflection at the center height also let this be with the suffix x for x and this also be with suffix x now this by the definition of stress stress is equal to young's modulus into strain and hence when we put strain value delta l by l we can find out delta l to be pl by a now in this case we have the force p as the weight so let's substitute this weight in place of p w pi r square x upon 3 into the length of the segment is dx which is elongating it is dx divided by area of cross section is nothing but pi r square and e is nothing but young's modulus which is a constant value let's sum simplify this so we have wx dx upon 3e we can integrate this value from h by 2 to h and find out the deflection at mid height so we can say delta l at h by 2 is equal to integration h by 2 to h wx upon 3e dx which is equal to wx square by 2 into 3 6e from h by 2 to h after substituting the limits we get 3 by 24 wh square by e so just simply simplifying 3 by 8 24 we get wh square by 8e 1 by 8 so this is nothing but the final deflection at mid height of the cone so our answer here is option a for more information you can refer to nptel video lecture 30 deflection of beams 1 lecture series on strength of materials by professor s k bhattacharya department of civil engineering iit kharagpur i hope this will help thank you